Hi, Joe from BearsLeak.com. I wanted to talk in this video about different ways we can diagnose a blown or leaking head gasket. Um, one of the first signs and symptoms of a failed head gasket is overheating. Now, just because you're overheating doesn't necessarily mean you have a blown head gasket, but it's definitely something we should be looking at. Um, a lot of times, you know, you're sitting in traffic and you see that temperature gauge. The temperature gauge should, on most cars, should be you know, slightly below the center line. Um, so if you start seeing that crawling up much higher than that, you know, above the halfway line and, and uh, beyond, um, you definitely want to check things out with your vehicle to make sure you don't cause any damage. Um, so sometimes, you know, you could have a blocked or failed thermostat where that's not opening and, and letting coolant through. Um, and then you got boiling over and, and loss of coolant and overheating problems, all kinds of issues. Um, so the leading to the loss of coolant, um, that could be a couple different things. One I just mentioned with you know the radi or the coolant not being able to flow and boiling over. Um, the loss of coolant could also have to do with a leaking radiator, so you want to check that out. Um, also look inside your radiator for any kind of bubbling or, or air bubbles in there. Uh, that's another sign that you might have a head gasket failure. Um, finally, if you see white smoke coming out of your exhaust, that's almost a sure sign that you have a head gasket leak. Uh, an internal head gasket leak will you know, drip down into the exhaust manifold and, and it basically evaporate the coolant and turn it into steam and blow it out and you'll see white smoke. Um, so it's not really smoke, it's steam, but same, same difference. Um, so uh, if you have any of these symptoms, you know, you may want to, you know, check out your head gasket. You can get block testers at like Napa or AutoZone, Advanced Auto. It's basically like um, a cylinder that has a tapered rubber end that you shove down into the radiator and then there's like a, a, a solution that you pour inside and it has a bulb on the top uh, where you, um, after you fill the solution, you squeeze this bulb and if you have a uh, leaking head gasket, the color of the liquid inside the cylinder will change um, and that is basically a sure way to tell. So if you believe you have a head gasket problem, Feel free to visit our website at www.bearsleak.com or call us at 859-428-7342. We'll be glad to talk to you about the symptoms you're experiencing and uh, see if our product can help you out. Thank you for watching.